Good morning, Amanda Hartman, speech pathologist here, and welcome to today's Facebook Live. We're going to read Room on the Broom, and we're going to do AAC, of course. You're on the Assistive Wear Facebook page, but of course you can follow us on Instagram, um, Twitter, Pinterest, YouTube, all the things. I've got a video on um, my Facebook um let me start again. I've got my iPad open here so that I can read your comments and answer your questions as we do our Facebook Live today. So let me find the video of us going. Here we are. Got my magic hat on today. <laughs> and we're going to read a book called Room on the Broom. Let's see who's out there. We've got a few friends already joined. We do. Good morning, Taylor. Good morning, Evan and Olivia. We've got some new friends joining us. Hi, Angela. Hi Stacy. <laughs> Hi Claudia. Hola. So today we're going to look at this book. We want everybody to come in and join the fun. Have you got your AAC ready so that you can model and show some of the words as we share the book together? Hi Marianne. Thanks so much for coming along. Got my magic hat on. Hi Erica. Now while you're all coming in to get started, Two things I wanted to let you know. Firstly, my friends Pam and Irene are also watching and they are going to answer any questions, but I can too. I really love it when you comment and ask me questions and answer my questions as we read the book together. The more interaction, the better. <laughs> well, that's what I think anyway. So welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> um, the second thing, I just really wanted to let you all know, in case you haven't seen, that um, there's a new documentary that Assistive Wear was part of called This Isn't About Me, This Is Not About Me, This Is Not About Me. And it's a really, really interesting documentary about um, a young autistic lady who grew up non-speaking. And her experiences are really um, important for all of us to, to learn from. It's such a powerful, a powerful uh, video. So, nice hat. Thanks, David. Yes, I do have my hat on today. Hello. Hello, Kathleen, and hello, Annabelle, if you're there too. But let's get started today because we're reading Room on the Broom. Hmm, I can see a witch here, and she is... Oh, let me find the word. On. We might use the word on a lot today because it's in the text. Room on the Broom. Okay, and I can see some things in it. I'm going to start with the first page. Remember, I'm going to be modelling on my on my iPad here for you to see. And also, I've got my big wall at the back. So let's go. Let's get reading today. It's my whole AAC wall. <laughs> okay, let's start with the book. Hi, Ian. Thanks so much for joining along today. Aha. Excellent. Some of our friends have already rented the This Is Not About Me uh, video and are getting ready to watch it on the weekend. Okay. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat. Oh, my hat is a little bit, what do I want to say? My hat's a little bit different. There she goes. And she wore a long plait. And she had her wand on the broom. One day, <gasps> swish! Oh, can you see what happened? I need to show you with the AAC. Her hat came off. Off. <gasps> off. Off things. Clothing went her hat. <gasps> off, off went her hat. hat. Swish. I will not take off Oof. my hat. I want to leave my hat mm. on for now. Okay, let's see what happens. So, ooh, down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but the hat could not be found. Oh, I know what I want to say. They went down, down to the ground and they, they were look. looking for, for things, clothing, Hat. They look for hat. They have to look for the hat. Where is the hat? Goodness. I wonder. I could ask a question with my big pointer. A question. Where? Where's the hat gone? And then, oh, let me show you quickly. Oh, who's that with the hat? 
Oh, somebody found the hat. Can you see in the book? Then out of the bushes, on thundering thaws, bounded a dog with the hat in his paws. <laughs> Tiffany's asked, this video afterwards, yes, you can come back to our Facebook page later and re-watch the video if you would like to. <gasps> Can't find it, Annabelle said. Okay. But the hat, the dog did. And then, oh look, the witch, she put back on, on her hat. And then the dog said, I'm as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Oh, do you know the dog came and he said, can I go on your broom too? What do you think the witch said? Yes! Yes, cried the witch. Look, they are all going on, on the broom. I think, I think, now remember, our Facebook lives, we only have a little bit of time, so I cannot no. read all. all of the book today. But I think, think, I think we need to get some more, more friends. Because there is more, more room on the broom for more, more. friends to get on. on. Who else might get on the broom? I wonder if you've read the book. The dog found it. Thank you. Our friend Annabelle is finding some of the words on her AAC and her mum's typing them into the comments so we can see what she's saying. Hi Rumi, hi Marta. If you've just joined, we are doing the book, Broom on a Broom with AAC. And I have something to say. You should tell Miss Amanda, you should tell Miss Amanda to hurry up. Hurry up with the book, Miss Amanda. Okay, okay, okay. Let's keep going. Put my wands there. So next, off they go. Swish. Over the fields and the forest they flew, the dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. There's lots of really nice text in this book. I don't need to read it all. <gasps> Uh-oh, something happened. Something fell off. off again. The bow fell off. off, off, off. Swish, off. So, Hmm, I know what they're going to do. Remember when she lost her hat? They went, clear, they went down, 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 down to look, look for, for the bow. <laughs> We've got lots of friends joining us. I wonder, I'm gonna have a question. I wonder, here's my question. Where did that bow go? Oh, I hear so many rhyming words today. That's lucky we might do some rhyming words today. Hang on, I skipped a page. Oh, look, here they are. Looking, looking, looking. Look, come and have a look for the bow. Hmm. And then, aha, it was a bird. The bird look and found the bow. And the bird says, I'm a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Oh, the witch is gonna think. What do you think the witch will say? Oh, I'm gonna get my buzzers. Did the witch say? Yes, you can go on my broom. Or did she say, no? Do you know what? Taylor thinks her mum's going to be on the broom. Good idea. <gasps> yes. There is room for everyone on the broom. The bird, the dog, the cat, the witch, and mum. <gasps> Who's going to put mum on the broom? Yeah. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All the things on the broom. <laughs> okay. I wonder. Let's see what next. Oh. She keeps dropping all her things. And when she goes, when she goes down, down look. to look for it, what she really finds is more, more people, more friends, more friends. 
Ah, uh, yep. We all, all to like, like to have more, more friends. Friend. So do you think there's going to be more more friends friend. on the broom? Yes. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure. Okay, let's see what happens next. So now they've got, oh, let's see. Maybe we could write a really long sentence about who is on the broom. Taylor also noticed the witch's bag on the broom too. You're right. It's a, like a big pot bag for her to mix her potions. Hmm. Okay, should we write a big long sentence about who is on the broom? Okay. Because I think we could write <laughs> the... I'm going to go to people and characters so I can find the witch. Where is she? Where is the witch? There she is. The witch. Witch. And. And. Oh, can you guys help me? Who else is on this broom? I need some help. I'm going to go to my animals page. Oh, and a cat. Cat. And. And. Oh, I remember. Remember the. Dog. Dog. Who else? Who else? <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to wait and see. Who is on our broom? Beep, beep. I'm giving you a bit of time to reply. Let's see. A frog. Annabelle, there was a frog. You're right. And, and a frog. frog. And, and I, anybody else? Yes, yeah, some of you found the frog. And I think there's even a, oh, don't forget. Bird. The bird. And a cat. Yes, Evan, you're right. And a cat. And they are all on, on the broom. The witch and cat and dog and frog and bird on. On the broom. And a bird. <laughs> you knew. Okay. Oh, uh oh, something's wrong. Oh dear, I have something to say. That looks, that looks bad is the word I was looking for. I think the broom broke. So you know what's going to happen. They will go, go. Down. Down, 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 down to the ground. <laughs> okay. And when they got down there, something happened. They met a dragon. Oh no, it's a dragon. I'm a dragon as mean as can be. And I'm planning to have witch and chips for tea. Oh no, I told you this was bad. Did you hear that? The dragon, he, he wants want to eat. He wants to eat the witch. He wants to Eat. eat, 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 eat. He wants to eat the witch. <gasps> oh no. And fall. And there was fire. You guys are finding all the words in this book. Well done. Okay. But then, then something happened. Now I'm going to show you the picture, but first I want to tell you Remember that she got more, more people, more friend. friends. And friends friend. are very good at something. Friends always help. help. <laughs> they do. Our friends help us, don't they? So let's see. Let's look at look. the book. And then we will see how the friends help. were able to help the witch. Come and look. I'm sure they're going to help the witch. I have to help the witch. Otherwise she's going to get eaten. No! Okay, just as the dragon had planned his feast, out of the ditch came a horrible beast. Look at the beast. Oh, that is very different. Have a look closely at the picture. Oh, look! Ha <laughs> ha! All. All the friends are helping. Help. They're being the beast. 
and then feeling words they can be they can be scary scary and they can scary scare the dragon away hooray <laughs> And oh, off went the dragon, and then there were all the friends. And then right at the end, they're making something. Then they got something here, for they could, so they could go. I know what they did. They had to make make describing words a new a new broom, and then they could. All, all go, go together. Let's see. A truly magnificent broom. Swish. With seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch. They all climbed on and the witch tapped the broomstick and swish, they were gone. <laughs> ah, good. They all got to go on the broom and maybe this time they will go up 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 <laughs> wow what a great book in our, you will go yep in our session today we were Read the book. reading the book and next we have some rhyming words to do and then lastly i wonder what's in miss amanda's hat today maybe we can have a look those are our activities for today Yes, Erin, I love the book too. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. So I'm going to need your help because we are going to listen for some rhyming words. I found some words in the book and I made big cards on my Prolo Quota Go. See them? And I need you to help me find the words that rhyme from in the story. Remember, words that rhyme, they sound the same at the end of them. So when we say them or when we hear them in our, in our mind, we can hear that they kind of sound the same. Oh, do you know, Annabelle thought that the new broom looked like a plane. I think it did look like a plane. Very cool, good idea. So we're gonna find the rhyming words and I want you to listen and see which word is the word that rhymes. I often make big cards like this and it can be really great to make a screen capture and then you can print them out and make them like cards as well, if you like cards. So that's one of the things I like doing. But our first word that we have to think about is broom. broom. So let's listen. We have to decide what rhymes with broom. Is it wand, wand or broom? Broom, broom rhymes with Wand or broom? Wand, broom, room, broom. What do you think? Oh, Pam's sharing that how I did it tricks. Thank you, Pam. Ah, one of our friends heard it. Let's put them both together. Broom, broom, and room, room. Let's listen to them. Broom, room, broom, room. Yes. Hey, you know what? I can even see the letters at the end are the same. That gave me a good clue. All right, so next. Now, friends, we're looking for a word that rhymes hat. with hat. Hat. What rhymes with hat? Hat. Cat, cat. or bird? Hmm. Cat or bird. Which is the word that rhymes with hat? And then maybe we should try and see. Aha! Uh -huh. Did you guys hear it? Did you hear the word that rhyme sounds the same at the end? Yes, you did. It was cat. cat. Let's listen to them. Hat. Cat. Hat. Cat. The cat had a hat. The cat had a hat. I love making silly word songs with rhyming words. <laughs> okay, we've got one more. One more, we have to find the word from the book. Dog. That rhymes with dog. So what rhymes and sounds the same as dog? dog. Is it the dragon, dragon or the frog. frog? Dog, what rhymes with dog? All of these words were in our book and we heard lots of rhyme in the book. Let's see what you think. Oh. <gasps> Somebody heard a word that sounds the same. They thought that dog, 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 
Oopsie. Frog dog, dragon, ah. frog dog. Oh, dog. dog and frog. Frog. Well done, Evan and Annabelle. The dog and the frog. The dog and the frog. The dog and the frog. We're in our book today. Yay! Wow. That's fantastic. We found all the words that rhyme. I'm going to just check in with what time it is. The time is 7.20 a.m. I know what that means. We have time to see... What's in my hat? What's in Miss Amanda's hat today? And I think that we... Maybe I could do, do something fun. I could do some... Magic. Magic. Oh, I wonder if I can do magic. some magic. Let's see. First of all, I've got something to say. In the book, the witch, she put on a hat. But Miss Amanda's hat is different. And I think we want to all have a look. What's in Miss Amanda's hat? What's in Miss Amanda's hat? Hmm, let's see. Oop. Oh, no, there is nothing in my hat. You guys are silly. There is nothing. I do not have anything in my hat. Nope. Oh, Taylor thinks, should we try and see if there's a rabbit in my hat? Taylor wants to see. Okay, well, I need my magic wand so I can do a spell. Okay, let's see. Hmm, I know, I have something to say. I have to say my spell. Here we go. Abra, oh, turn on my wand, yes, good. Abracadabra, rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. Let's see if I can pull a rabbit from my hat. Swish, 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 swish. Go, Miss Amanda. Oop. Wow. What? There really was a rabbit in my hat. It's magic. Oh. Oh my goodness, that was very fun. I have something to say. Fun to do some magic. <laughs> oh, should I put the rabbit back in? I'll do it again. Abracadabra, rat -a -tat, tat let me well pull a rabbit from my hat. <laughs> Yay! Oh, our friend Taylor was right. I have something to say. I want to say, there. there was a thing, an animal, where is it? Oh, there was a rabbit. Rabbit in. There was a rabbit in my hat. Hat. There rabbit in hat. There was a rabbit in my hat. He was hiding in there. Hooray! Okay, so let's check our schedule of what we were going to do today on our Miss Amanda's reading session. We read the book. Read the book. We did. We did our rhyming words with all our room on the broom words and then What's in my hat? We all saw what was in my hat. Now adults, if you're still here Questions. Now's the time you can ask any questions that you like of, of, of me or the team. And um, yeah, so it's time for questions. I wondered though, while you're thinking and typing out your questions, I'm sure that you notice that each week I always incorporate some literacy. Obviously we're reading the book and we're sharing and enjoying the book together and I'm modeling AAC, but I think just incorporating some literacy activities is always important. And if you want some ideas of different literacy activities you could try, um, my friend Pam's gonna share an article and it's got lists of lots and lots of different fun literacy activities that you can incorporate alongside your shared reading or your writing or anything. So it's just, um, I think that both things, no matter where you are, um, we wanna start incorporating literacy as soon as we can for our AAC users. So, any questions? We do have time for some questions today. I thought it was a very long book. We wouldn't, but we, we do have a couple of minutes. And um, as I said at the beginning, if you missed me mention, I just talked about the new documentary that we've launched. And so we have the link to the website if you want to go and see the previews and, and sit in the trailers and see more about that. Whew, the magic hat. I gotta take the rabbit out. <laughs> and I've got my magic shirt on today and everything. All right. Oh, yeah, Pam shared the link again. Thank you, Pam. 
just in case you missed it. Okay, so maybe no questions today, that's fine. Of course, you know that our wonderful support team is always available and you can reach out to us via email or on any of our social media channels. Um, very nice to see you. Bye, Taylor. Mwah. Bye, friends. Thanks so much for all of you that joined in. Um, we're going to be back in two weeks, so the same time, the same place. Just remember with daylight savings changing in your places that the times might be slightly different, so don't forget to check that. And, oh... Megan just asked about the time. I will share you the video on how you can, uh, or Pam Knight. Um, yes, you might be able to uh, see, I can't see over my hat, put my hat up, um, how you can add dates and times onto buttons. Such a helpful feature. No more boring calendar work, because I can just do it quickly. Bye, Annabelle, and bye, everybody. Thanks so much for joining. See you in two weeks. Goodbye.